Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to install code blocks on Windows 11. Also, we will see how to create, compile and run C and C++ program inside the code blocks. Let's begin. Open your favorite browser, go to the address bar and type code blocks download. Press enter. After that, you will see some results. Here, you have to choose the first one or you can see www.codeblocks.org and you will see the download page here just click on this link binary release and then you will see the page where the actual downloads links available when you come to this section you will see there are several downloads options available we are going to proceed with this option this option comes with the MinGW built-in compiler, right? If you install this setup, then you don't need to separate installation of MinGW compiler, right? In front of that, click on this link. And soon your downloading will begin. And you will get a message. Thanks for downloading. If you see on the downloads section, you will see downloading is in progress this is going to take time i have already downloaded the exe setup so guys please download your setup and then you can proceed here i'm going to pause this download and i'm going to use pre-downloaded exe okay now come to the download location you will see this exe do the double click on it to launch and then you will get this message from the windows click yes and this splash screen will appear and this is the very first window for the installation click next click on the i agree button and these are the components which are going to install you can see at the last component this is the minji compiler suit which is going to install by default with this setup this is the destination destination folder you can see the space required is 1.5 gb if you have a sufficient space proceed otherwise you can change the location for the installation click next and the installation will begin here we have to wait for the completion of this installation progress bar once the installation is finished you will see a message you can simply close click next and you can launch the code blocks this is the home screen of the code blocks right let's create a simple c and c program go to the file menu go to the new and then select project once you click the project you will see new project window here we have a multiple options to create different kind of projects with different programming languages also we have the Arduino, java applications as well now we are going to create the c++ console application now click on this icon console application now click on this go button and now click next and here this will give you the option you want to proceed with the C or you want to proceed with C++ select and click next now at this place you have to give the project name choose any project name of your choice if you see the second text box here this is the project location this is going to create a folder for your project if you want a particular project for your if you want a particular folder location for your project create a folder on your drive and you can simply select with this browse button and then all your projects will be saved in your destination folder right now come to this file name this is the file name of your project going to be saved with .cbp the last one is the path the complete path of your project file location if you see the compiler box is blank then you can simply click on this drop down choose GNU GCC compiler which is the default compiler which will work here to compile your C and C++ program right so I have already installed many times that's why it's appearing here you can simply choose this GNU GCC leave the rest of the thing as it is click finish and here we go on you can see on the left hand side your project is set up here in this project explorer bar 
Now see, if you expand this, you will find a main.cpp, a default file. This is a small program going to write, going to display hello world on the console. Let's modify this program. So I will modify this file a little bit. I will say hello cool IT help. And then I will save this file, put press control S and now file is saved. To run this file, we have to build this file first. We have this icon to build. Also, you can choose the top menu option like here. The shortcut key is control F9 to build. Simply click build and then you will see some activity here in this results tab. You can see there is no error, no warning. Everything is fine. We are ready and we are good to go to run this program. To run this program, again, you have to go to the build menu and there is an option for run file. Also, we have an option for the compile, but you can simply choose build or run or you can simply do build and run together with the key press F9, right? So we have already built the program. We can simply run it. Choose this option. When you click, you will see a black and white window will open and here you will see the output of your program. This program is executed successfully without any error. Okay. Now to exit this, you have to simply press any key from the keyboard. And this will be closed. So friends, this is overall the process of download and installation. Also, we have seen how to run C++ program here in this code blocks. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching.